Oh, we almost did that at the same time. That was almost perfect. It may fuck up the audio a little bit. Uh, welcome <laughs> back to Beanie Boys Podcast. Uh, wait. Are you Are you a beanie? Do you have a boy? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> welcome back to the Beanie Boys Podcast. Thank you. Uh, my <laughs> name is Thad B. I'm Cameron McKenzie. This is Joe Bruno. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. What up? And then our lovely producer for the evening. Making us look good. Kenny Thompson. Thank you very much, Kenny. Good to Shout see out. You. I'm just Ken. We're, uh, we're back. Different spot. Different spot. We're in Joe's spot. Yeah. Thanks for having us, Joe. Thanks for having us, Joe. Oh, it's a beauty, beautiful new spot. Pretty hot up here. Speaking of new. I To be honest with you, I didn't look at the news at all. You always go first, so this is good. Okay, cool. Um, well, I wasn't planning on going first today. I did ask you earlier if you had one. What's <laughs> you going yeah. on? <laughs> it's fine. You uh, did not ask me. You said that's how we're going to start. I just totally forgot. That's totally fair. It's fine. Um, okay, so it's a big month for the state of Michigan. Uh, a lot like for Michigan sports, the University of Michigan won the national championship. The Detroit Lions made it to the playoffs, won a couple games. Like it's a big year. Um, the Pistons are six and forty. Damn, uh, as of today, as of when we're recording this, they're six and forty. And I was talking to my dad on the phone today about it, and I think that they should sell the team, move it to Seattle, and every fan of the Pistons should get a stimulus check for our time and effort put in for the years of sadness and loss. And yeah, uh, this is really just my pitch to the NBA. Adam Silver, I know you're watching because you email me every year. Uh, hey, man, move the Pistons to Seattle. I'm done. So You're done with just basketball me, in Detroit. Just give me a check and pay all the fans a nice sum for our time and our loss. Like how much? maybe like dude my brain is just going three grand like it's not even that much like it's just it's a lot of money to give every pistons fan it's gonna be a lot you're buying a basketball team it's millions of dollars i think per every win that they've had in the past five years is that how many thousand every win is one dollar that's so bad i think that's in how the much, past five years i think that's how much it's like a measly fans, check for 137 dollars yeah, not even probably five years give me some credit we had okay years wait look it up i want to see for real all right I'll while do, you're doing your news thing I'll yeah look it up. um it's less of a joke that i made and it's just the funniest headline i think i've ever seen uh, so whoever's working at USA Today, you're doing a great job. Um, <laughs> pants down on the plane, Philadelphia woman whose outburst was caught on video charged. Hmm. I think, I mean, that sums it all up. She had her pants down on the plane and she got charged. She's from Philadelphia. I totally get it. Sorry, Kenny, but I totally get it. Yeah. Philadelphians are a pantsless foe. You can't have your pants down on a plane. You're going to get, that's a terrorist act, dude. Yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah. Do we I, have well, I can't have I can't have my pants down on a plane because my dick's the bomb. That's really good. All right, here's I found joke. the I'm gonna write the if you want to add this up for okay. me. Okay, okay. I said 137. Out of the past five years, we're looking for 137 wins. Is that including the six we have now? Can I include those? Yes, we okay. can include the six. So six. Um, six. <laughs> let's see. Last year we had 17 plus 17. God, that's so. We're bad. off to a great start. <laughs> Uh, 23 plus 23. We're getting better. The Magic had more wins than we did that year. Uh, 2021. Let's see. Uh, ooh, 20 wins. Yikes. Bad year. 20. Yep. Uh, 2019, 20, 20 wins again. Holy shit. We are so. That was 2019. That was five years ago. Uh, the well, year before. Well, this one's let's five count years. One last one. 41. 41. We were 41 and 41. 127. Go! Pretty I'm close. Off by Ten. Pretty close. That's crazy. Would if you? We, but you would take a check for one hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Uh, happily, right now, above all things. Yeah. Uh, De- and Detroit and the Pistons. Owners. You would rather have one hundred and twenty-seven dollars than a basketball team to root for. No, but if it was like a stimulus check, like the government gave out, is kind of right. what I was going for. Like the year, it's like every month ticket right. sale percentage gets sent yeah, to Pistons quit, fans. Pl- quit paying Cade Cunningham and pay the fans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's actually saying. there's a few other players. Killian Hayes. Why are you even on the team? I, I this mean, is a really this is a call out. At this news point, segment. at this point, yeah. yeah. Sorry to any Detroit Pistons that are watching. But actually, but, you know, like I mean, you get it. You yeah, hear it all the time. You guys suck. You guys have really <laughs> sucked. You guys suck ass. But we sacrifice. That's what kind of I'm learning about sports cities. You sacrifice. Well, also, yeah, you guys did the same thing with the Lions. Look at the Lions this year. Heartbreaking loss in the championship. Yeah. But you know. Cool year of sports for the Mich- for my life. I mean, Michigan won a championship. That yeah, very good. Yeah, would have been uh, sick if they both did. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if we got two out of f- 
two out of the big, whatever big, sports. Big uh, football state would have been. Big football state. Would have been cool. Usually basketball state, I want to say. But. I would say it, it's funny it's not a baseball state because it's shaped like a glove. All right. Anyway. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Michigan on a map. Shaped like this. And I've never seeked it out. That's okay. I don't, I don't look at. I didn't know where Colorado was before yeah. I moved here. Like, well, I'm not I just, I I just knew like all of the ones over here looked like boxes. Mm. And then, then Good the point. closer you get to the East Coast, the more like weird boundaries they have. I'm like, yeah. who, also, who comes up with that shit? It's like Parkinson's was happening on the right side when they were drawing the map, and yeah. then they got someone who was <laughs> yeah, like yeah, healthy-handed. Yeah. Or then, it's the progression of Parkinson's. Or yeah. Or as yeah, as time went on, <laughs> Parkinson's went away. He's drawing the map le- uh, west to east, so <laughs> he's can, just like really good, and then he gets like diagnosed with Parkinson's, and that's why. Or I'm like that. you can tell when the ruler was invented. <laughs> can, yeah, and it's just you know when they started buying <laughs> naming states in the Louisiana Purchase. They yeah. were like, oh fuck, we have this straight line that we can do it with. Yeah. Now. Oh, the first straight line. Yeah. Yeah. You dude. never know. That's a good point. Uh, we're talking about sports a little. Um, this is a new segment I have. I want to test uh, out. Word. Uh, so some sports cities don't have teams, or some cities don't have teams. Yeah. Uh, and I think we should create a team for each major sport in a city that doesn't have one. Salt Lake City Mormons. Do you like what sport? Is, what sport is that? Cricket. <laughs> no, like one of the four, ma- like they don't have uh, one of the they four don't have a bat or they don't have a American baseball team. Sports. Sure. They don't have a baseball okay. team, an NFL team or a hockey team. Well, all of the American sports aside, I think it would be a great marketing idea for America to get a cricket team. The cricket. We are lacking in the, I mean, when that's you the look biggest it up, sport in the world. It's soccer or it's cricket and then soccer or the other yeah. way around. I think I cricket might because India has a billion people Dude, and they all love My grandpa cricket. has two channels. One of them's Disney Channel because he still thinks I'm fucking six, and the other one but is it's the a cr- fun channel. The other one's the Cricket Channel, and then he has YouTube, and that's it. That's a cool life, though. Yeah, because I mean, like, that's I've tried does. to watch cricket. I wrote a whole paper on it in high school, and I don't understand the rules. They're really long games. Yeah, and it, I think that's why yeah. America can't do it. I but did make forty dollars off of cricket the other day. That's what I'm saying. The other night, I should. Say. The world loves it. Yeah. And we haven't, we're starting to respect soccer now. So I think like, I wonder if in a hundred, hundred years or something. No, we're not. <laughs> if, I think we are. No, no Messi's Messi coming. lives here. Messi's coming over. People well, come here got, and play. We got the other guy, Suarez. What's his name? Oh, Luis Suarez. Suarez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah David Beckham owns a team. Yeah, David. He owns like the MLS. I yeah. don't even. So I think like if the US in a hundred years yeah. gets on the soccer train, cricket's coming with that. What do you think happens first? Soccer or WNBA? Well, there's already a WNBA. Yeah, but like out of like, oh, oh, the large like support, like, no, America. Do you think oh, America oh. hops on the WNBA or soccer train first? It depends on how quickly the U.S. can do anything on a global scale in soccer. If we can do anything in the Olympics or anything in the World Cup, uh. which we've never done. We've never been good enough for America to give a shit because women's soccer yeah. is good. They've won the world. They've like made it. They've been the best in the world. Third party answer, Joe. <laughs> Joe, would what, you rather watch? That's, that's a good way. Would to you rather that. watch soccer or women's basketball? Women's basketball. Why? Because you like. I like basketball. Yeah. Nice, More dude. Than soccer. Yeah. I'd, I'd pick that before soccer. I, I do. Feel like I the think average American is going to pick basketball over soccer. Honestly, I've seen more. That's just. Me. I've seen more college women's college basketball clips on Instagram and shit this year than I have men's basketball clips. That's a very good point. Yeah. I same here. Like it's Angel Caitlin Reese, Clark. Caitlin Clark. Yeah, I know names. Yeah, Sabrina Ionescu. Ionescu. Nah, never yeah. heard it. I actually before. know like a considerable amount of WNBA yeah. players yeah. now. So I do think WNBA may catch on more than soccer because the MLS has been around for years. Just saying. But what? I okay, do. so Salt Lake City Mormons. What are they playing? Cricket. Oh uh, well, no. Now that I know that it's. The it's like you get to sports. just create a sports city that in a team that needs one. But you can create the mascot and the you can pick a city. I'm going the Sioux Fall. Sioux Falls South Mount, Dakota? Yeah. Okay. Mountaineers. What sport? Football. Nice. Yeah. NFL. Love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Or I, I feel like Wyoming could use one too. Yeah, I think there needs to be another thing touching Colorado that gets one. Yeah. Well, Arizona has one, but Arizona already has one, yeah. But they're pissed. Yeah, they're a what would you team. do? Um, I was thinking let's give one of the northeast cities another go, like uh, Montpelier, Vermont, Vermont, uh, a Vermont football team. No, they get because uh, they don't have anything, so it's open to all sports. Um, I think they get a basketball team. 
because I don't think they're very underrepresented. NBA team in Vermont. Yeah, it adds another city I to the feel East like, Coast. Well, my well only... they're, they're built for hockey. Let's be honest. It should be a hockey team in Vermont. My thing Connecticut is like, used to have a hockey why, team. We, that's just, it's so crowded over there. Honestly, the spring should You know happen. what I mean? Uh, yeah, maybe. That's so close to Denver. Like if you're going to do like a Boston and a New York and a Philly, Philadelphia, they're all like, like they're all, they're all an within. hour away, yeah. you know? Well, there's a... Uh, Denver and Springs. Yep. Pueblo, even. Give Pueblo a team. Let's do uh, Taos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Taos, Taos Mexico. Skiers, and they are a basketball Let's team. Let's do Albuquerque, honestly, too. Albuquerque could use... Albuquerque is a pretty big city. What would you name a sports team for the city of Albuquerque? Because that's a great word. It's hard not to choose something racist. It's well, really Phoenix, hard to not sure, choose. Sure. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, that's your, the first it's like team, your joke. It's the first team with a slur. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you know? you well, it's like, built uh, for them to be the queers. Uh-huh. The Albuquerque natives. Yeah, native. Oh, we bring Redskins we bring them back. back. We bring Redskins back. They're that's maroon and is. yellow. Yeah, that's what we're really going it's for. It's the Indians, and in it, yeah, it's the same thing. Also, just so you know, I don't cancel me for saying it again. The the Redskins were mm-hmm. named after Native Americans. Like Native Americans wanted that. Yeah, and that picture I is of re- an actual man, a, like a, a Powhatan chieftain. chieftain. Yeah, mm-hmm. like they wanted that, and then yeah. some white ladies one day were like, "No, oh, we should stop. We should stop doing that." There was one team, the Cleveland will Guardians. Say, now the Cleveland Indians. That one was a racist. I, story. I will say, like, if you named a team Blackskins, that's fucked up. So, like, 100%. I totally get like get rid of the 100%. red part. Of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, bad to call them a color. But like Indians, you could or Native Native Americans. Really, yeah. you know? the problem with that yeah. baseball team that they've changed to the Guardians is that the drawing was fucked up because it yeah. was like a real, it was a racist was that, caricature. Cleveland? Yeah, Cleveland because yeah. Ohio, I guess, had natives. Yeah. The whole country. Did. I bet you they were <laughs> pissed about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> way more than so like the Washington Redskins, and that old, one was on the news. But then they just casually, men. secretly changed baseball team yeah. name, and no one cared. There's probably so many old white men just fucking pissed off. They're like, no, they're they're still the Indians to me. Yeah. All well, right. there's a. This is I'm calling out someone in Colorado Springs, but their license plate is Redskins. Yeah, that's that's mine. <laughs> you drive a white Escalade, dude. Yeah, that's dude. sick. Well, dude. Oh, it was the up, whitest family I've ever seen. I lived in D.C. until I was like four, so like yeah. my family was. We were kind of like you were Washington. Family. It was either Baltimore or Washington that we were going to choose. And I would secretly uh, root for them because my family was Cowboys fans, yeah. and when that rivalry was going on, I kind of was yeah. rooting for them because they like, had cool players. Fuck you, Dad. It was a bit of that, like Grandpa, yeah. really. Yeah, but yeah. Sorry, I don't know if he's listening. <laughs> it would be weird. Hopefully, hopefully he's not listening to this podcast. Hopefully not. My he grandparents would... are listening to this. I apologize he for so, so much. much. Oh, yeah. my God. I don't apologize for anything. You get to hear it now. So this yeah. is just me. True. Um, okay. Next little topic I want to discuss. That was awesome. Uh, I like that of we have to just create a sports team. But I like Are we going to the... do that every single podcast episode? No. Oh, this okay. is fun. Okay. Uh, what's the worst vacation you've ever been on? Do you, oh. do you remember one? Where oh, it was just I had like, to go everything to my, is piss. I had to go to my grandma's funeral in Alamogordo. Oh, yeah. That was kind of recent, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. That was just not fun. Yeah. Well, you, you got... Any trip down there really sucked. You went to three Applebee's three times in one day. Actually, yeah. You know what? It was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I, I blacked out like pretty early and got a neck tattoo which was pretty tight but right yeah you came back with a neck tattoo so i guess i got yeah there's some stories out of it i guess maybe that's not just like a trip like it either nothing worked out or like there was just bullshit happening the whole time um and you're like i should have just stayed home no you know what there was one time i went to san diego because my mom like for a job had it like a business conference out there Mm mm-hmm and she was like, you want to come? It's only like three days. You can stay with your cousin. Yeah. I was like, oh, hell yeah. My cousin's in college. She's oh, going to let me drink. Like, this is when I was like 16. So the I was prime like, age to yeah. visit someone in college. Like, my mm-hmm. favorite drink was apple juice and fireball. So That yeah. sounds awesome. No, it was fucking sick, dude. Yeah. And so, sure. like, I was pumped that I was going to be able to drink. And then I get down there and uh, my cousin was like, nope, you're not going to be able to drink. So I literally just like I was stuck. At, my mom was at this business conference. I was just stuck in this apartment oh. for like two, three days. That sucks. Yeah, that's worst, a shitty vacation. Worst vacation I've ever had. I did Dang. go to the beach one time, which was like made up for that's part nice. of it. But yeah, just seeing the. Water. I just dude. I just wanted a cigarette and some apple juice and Fireball, dude. Yeah, that's you're like a six year old that w- has been working in the mines. Yeah, you're bro. like, hey, dude, yeah. can I get my cigarette and my apple juice? I'm 16, dude. Give my app app already. Yeah. If you don't give me my Fireball and apple juice, I'm gonna jerk off four times today. <laughs> <That's> Apple Jacks <laughs> to you was a very different thing. 
Apple Jacks? It was just Apple Apple Juice and Jack Daniels. I uh, not Jack Daniels. That's too high class. I know. I was just trying to make an Apple Yeah. Jacks no, point. I get that though. Yeah, yeah. I, was I get that. For it. I think that's an actual drink that people do. Or no, there's a Apple Teeny is really there's good. There's a uh, liquor store called Apple Jacks now. Jason Mimosa was there. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Mom- or Jason Mimosa is a hilarious caricature that someone should draw of Jason Momoa as a mimosa. <laughs> Or, yeah, just Jason Momoa as Yeah, a, we'll put that right here. As a white lady. Yeah. <laughs> <Just drinking> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Him just as what a was your man. worst vacation? I've had a few. I've had some really shitty vacations where yeah. it's like the trip sucked or like I was in Michigan recently mm-hmm. and I was sick the moment I got on the plane there mm-hmm. like it wasn't about the plane but then i just got sick oh, and then sick i was time. sick for a week on, on my dad's couch yeah and then he had to drive me back to colorado because i couldn't Damn. get on a plane but i've had one vacation where i went on wait where, they wouldn't let you on the plane no i i was too sick where like i couldn't physically stand you couldn't up stand up no he, wow. he was just like i'll give what you did the- you have a fucking ebola that's insane. i think i had norovirus and it was like the first ring of it Nora. and it knocked okay. me out it's where you throw up and poop at, and you can't at keep simultaneously any liquids. Yeah. yeah it's i think it's my i think it's what happens when i like get really drunk and eat shitty food i've honestly had a couple hangovers like that though. right <laughs> but imagine like you yeah so i had a xanax and I don't like pills. Like, they just yeah. don't do shit for me. So I was just uncomfortable in the seat. But mm. I had one vacation. I went to uh, Mexico. I went to Cozumel, I think. That on, island? Yeah, but I was there for a mission trip. I was, like, building oh. an orphanage. Which so sucked. it wasn't a vacation. Yeah, but it basically was because we didn't work. They didn't have us do anything. For a mission trip? You didn't yeah. even do anything? We hung out. We we built Your something one day. Your sounds lit, dude. It was pretty cool back in the Fuck. day. Yeah, because we just hung out in Cozumel. But I got sick there in Mexico. Damn. I got Montezuma's Revenge, and I was just Damn, couch dude. bound. Dude, I did a mission trip flying in Colorado Springs one time. That sucks. <laughs> dude, I, we went, I went to Mexico eight times. We went to, uh, we went to old Colorado City. To the west and side. like yeah and like we did like <laughs> to the west side it, we stayed in this spot in old colorado city it didn't have ac and it was the middle of the summer and i was just burning up and then like the <laughs> next day it was a saturday and we had to like teach these middle schoolers how to play kickball or some shit for the lord and i was what? dude and they started like chirping like they were heckling the shit out of me sure and i started like cussing back at them because yeah, i was in, like punk middle ass school bitch. I was in middle school. These are like fifth graders. I was like, I'll, oh, prime. Fuck, I'll beat the shit out of you, kid. <laughs> and it's like, there's like this little Hispanic For the girl. Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like my pastor got all upset and he was like, no, we can't do that. We're here to save them. I was, I was like, like, yo, what? if I send them to their dude. maker sooner, they got a better chance. Yeah, dude. It, yeah. yeah. A mission trip in your hometown is crazy. Yeah, I like that they didn't give you AC, so they just made it seem like you were in a foreign country oh, or dude. something. They were like, we'll make it really hot well, for them. There well, there was one night where they were like... We, they were doing like this whole speech to us or like a sermon pretty much in this basement. A little Devo. And like there's one exit out of this basement and we're all fucking burnt. Like I was about to pass out for real. Mm-hmm. And then this guy goes, this is what it was like when Jesus was preaching to the masses. No. They didn't have AC then either. <laughs> and this is, this is why we want you to feel this. So you know exactly what they were going through. Too. I'm like, well, this is old Colorado City and it's 2015, bro. Like, yeah, shut the everyone fuck else up. has AC. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny just picturing What's Jesus the point? in a basement also, talking and someone in the back goes, can you turn on the AC <laughs> yeah, in here? Yeah, for real. Also, I missed the entire point of the sermon because I was concerned that I was going to fucking die. Yeah. So, like, if you turn the AC on, maybe I would be saved right now. Maybe oh, I so wouldn't. Yeah. Like, maybe I'd be a changed man. And they needed to finish the Devo before you could make it to heaven because you got to hear this. That's funny as shit. Yeah, dude. Not a big fan of mission trips after that one. That's fair because you didn't sister, go anywhere. My sister took some badass ones to Brazil, bro. Nice, yeah. dude. Like she went on the, the fucking, what do you call it? The Amazon. The river? Yeah. Yeah, dude. The Nile? Yeah, that? yeah. Jeff Bezos has. No, the Nile's the one in. I said the Amazon. I Africa. Said yeah. The Amazon's the rainforest. It's the river too. Holy shit. They'll name anything Amazon down there. Even the but, women. Yeah, yeah. Dude, she fucking, she was like in the fucking tribes and shit. With the anacondas. Yeah, she said some of those tribes had never seen white people before. She's not white. <laughs> I was like, I kind of, no, but like the people she went with were white. Oh, sure. I was like, she's kind of technically yeah. back in her home no, continent. No, she's, she's way lighter than me though too. So like even Fair. at the same time, if she was the darkest person, 
Yeah, that's they'd be neat. like, "What's wrong with you? Like, yeah. do you have a disease?" <laughs> yeah, you should go to South you know? America. That's where yeah. people are from. Honestly, I fit in in Mexico pretty well. So yeah, you did just go there recently. I did. I'm pretty. I'm Hispanic. Deep down. Deep down. Deep down Hispanic. Uh, Inside. Joe, there's a question I, I'll ask Joe first. Uh, what's the best sandwich you've ever had? Do you recall it? Like, when, where'd your brain go right now? He's gonna say like a peanut butter and jelly or some shit. But it could be. Well, like. Who knows, like a solid grilled cheese or something? Yeah, when we're talking sandwich, like, what do we narrow? <laughs> I had an we're not having this break. argument about like tacos or whatever. It's no, no, a no, sandwich, no. but <laughs> some, we're not doing that. Chicken, a hot dog. Chicken, bacon ranch. That's chicken. a sandwich. Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah, that's obviously a sandwich. Yeah, do you have like one that you got from a specific place that you remember was like life changing? Uh, where you were like, now chicken bacon ranch is my favorite, Sammy. Both Village Inn and Perkins. That's not what I was expecting Wait, at all. Are you a Shh. big Village Inn guy? Yeah. Dude, I I didn't know that about you. Wow. You like well, breakfast diners? I love a breakfast I, I love diner. diner. Diner food. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't yeah. have like diners here, so well, a lot of good ones. When I got the yeah. text about, hey, Joe's having a surprise party. Yeah. It's at Village Inn. I was like, does he frequent here? <laughs> or like why yeah, is, is he why is it Village Inn out of all places? Because are we did did we just finish a play in high school and yeah. this is where the rap party yeah, is? Dude, I used to Village Inn was rap. our spot after yeah. church, dude. Yeah. We would go after I'm not even joking about that. After every play I did, all twelve yeah. plays, we would go to Village Inn and like, then get when, pie. When I was here in the summers during high school, we could just like smoke Siggies in Village Inn inside still. Holy shit, yeah, yeah, they had smoking section and on. Yeah, Holy in, shit. Like oh five when I was like yeah. Six, yeah. Village That's in, when I moved here. Village Inn rules, dude. Yeah. You Every see. dude restaurants they in general. general. They took yeah. it away. Yeah, they, they took, took it away. away. Well, like they to, realized that you can't separate a room. I like to believe smoke. Joe walks into Village Inn every time now and he's still like, like still can't smoke in here. <laughs> yeah. All right, Same Nancy, woman. I'll take the regular table then. I'll take All right, I'll take my chicken bacon yeah. ranch. Yeah. You know, now that you say that from Village Inn, I've had that chicken bacon ranch yeah. and it's a good fucking sandwich. I think Perkins, I've only had Perkins pancakes. Too. I've eaten their bre- like breakfast food and then I'll get a slice of French soak pie. Perkins, it's called a chicken, Perkins is chicken, underrated. It's called a chicken strips melt, but it's basically the okay, same. Okay, bet. Perkins is an underrated spot. They got Very big old biscuits, size of your head. Very interesting. Over That's Waffle the best House, you choose Village Inn. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Have you been to the... There's that Waffle... This is just for Colorado Springs, people, what I'm saying right now, because I forgot that we're doing a pod. But uh, yeah. have you been to the Waffle House on Austin Bluffs and Academy? Really yeah, nice Waffle House. Lot. I haven't been in... Oh, the one by, like, one. that Dutch... There's that new Goodwill. In the Goodwill. It's a block... It's towards uh It's, like, up Academy the street still. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. I have lovely, yeah. good... Lovely yeah. Waffle House. The, Never had a bad time. The one over on Fillmore, they redid it, too. It well, they just nice. picked up the building and turned it around, they which probably, I really liked. They probably needed to. <laughs> they yeah. probably was, really that one was needed getting to robbed. redo that one, dude. I was there like an hour before it got robbed. It was either going to shut down or cool. they redid it. <laughs> so I'm glad they redid it. Word. That's, that's your good. best sandwich. Dad, what's the best sandwich you've uh, ever had, and do you remember this specific sandwich? Dude, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not a big sandwich guy. I was thinking that because you just not. had toast for the first time while living with me. Yeah. Well, that's I've cool. never had a toaster, so that was a big, yeah. it was a big change. Yeah. Um, but sandwich? A wrap counts, too, if you, if you I need. Mean, I'm going to get real basic here, man. I love... Un- a good Uncrustable will fuck me up, bro. Really? You're an yeah. Uncrustable spoiler? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Never got behind those. I'm not like, a jelly man. I, they're I just how like cold that. they are. It's uh, how yeah. cold because you keep them in the freezer or the fridge or whatever, and they get cold. The regular, oh, sure. The regular PB&Js don't get cold like that. Yeah, that's very true. Because you don't freeze peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you wouldn't do, normally. You do the you refrigerate the jelly. You can buy one of those presses. My sister used to eat this I is eat a weird thing about my little day. sister. To she, cut it? She eats butter sandwiches or used to, where it was just butter and a two pieces of white bread oh, and then wow. she would stamp it out and have a little butter pocket. That's kinda psycho. But yeah, you can buy the crimper thing. It's like a it makes a cool sound. I, I knew also, when she was making one because it made a kunk in the kitchen. The other thing about uncrustables is I feel like it's all even around the whole sandwich. In yeah, like that's around the whole circle. And it I feel perfectly like crimps it when I no like the distribution of the jelly and oh, the peanut butter. It's but like mechanical. when I when I spread it myself, it gets all lopsided. You're you no know? machine. Yeah, I'm not a machine. I'm not a robot. You should let's watch the unwrapped with Mark Summers about Uncrustables uh, sponsoring. The Is pod. that the Food Network show? Yeah, the I one where they love teach you things. That show, what a dude. great fucking show, it was dude. A great show. It's a good man. show. I miss that show. Is that the one that you would go into the factories and you'd see how yep. it was all? How all the yeah, candies man. and foods and all the yeah, things man. are made. I love watching good machines. Yeah, because how it's lines. made is boring because that's like, these are how these screws are made. And you're like, yeah. I don't give a shit. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know how Twizzlers are twizzed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's twizzed, yeah. I think that's the... You had a lemon Twizzler? 
I just we had him at the same yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. It the blew show. our mind. They had him Joe. In the, they have lemon Twizzlers. They had him in the green room, dude. Good. They were so fucking. Good. It was so good. It somehow had like. It somehow felt like it was filled with some. They were yellow like a lemon. Uh, the best sandwich I've ever had is. Oh yeah, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that skit we did. When it's oh like, yeah, no one's asking how, how was my day, day was. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the pool. Uh, my the best sandwich I've ever had, and I. They don't sell it anymore. It's at Quiznos. Well, one, we don't have a Quiznos in this town. Yeah, we got rid of all of them. Yeah, it sucks. The original Quiznos of all like is in Denver. The first one ever is on. Oh, it's like really? a downtown thing. I've been to the Ridge. Pretty cool. But there's this like sandwich that has prime rib, some sort of sauce, on this like toasted sub thing. I've been trying to recreate it in my life. And it's the hardest thing ever. But I can close my eyes and taste it. Did I ever tell you you look a lot like that panda from... Um, what's that movie? Kung Fu Panda. You look nice. a lot like that guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're opening the door. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's got this really fun running joke that I look like Poe from funny. Kung Fu it's, Panda. It's funny because you don't. You yeah, don't yeah, look yeah. like him at all. But yeah. the, just one time we were watching Kung Fu Panda in the so living room. So fucking funny. And I was just like. I think I was eating noodles. You too. look just like that guy. Yeah. And you go, who? I said, the fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're bloated just like him. It felt <laughs> the same, like, because I'm not. It, it, it's very funny because it felt the exact same as uh, Crow's Feet. Yeah. Where I was like, huh? I did, to, Came out also, of nowhere. I never, I didn't come up with the Crow's Feet thing. Yeah, no, that was Luke Stamp. That was Luke. Yeah. I just kind of piggybacked off of it for a while. Yeah, you said it on the pod and blew my yeah, mind. Well, I that said, was a great joke. Yeah, yeah. Cut to that clip. Yeah. Uh, how many minutes do we have left? What, three? Three? Sweet. Um, Tres mas minutos. Let's see. Hmm. You hear that? Tres mas. Dude, have you been Spanish. taking? Have you been trying to learn a different language? I've been du- taking Mexican. Du- yeah. <laughs> you've been doing. You've been duolinguing. Yeah. Yeah. No. I uh, honestly, I am on this show in Denver, the Funny Final Four one. Yeah. And it's like cowboy themed, so I have to dress like a cowboy. And I'm kind of like, part of me wants to learn my five minute set in Spanish because be I'm gonna so put a, I'm gonna put a cowboy hat on and I'm gonna look Hispanic as fuck, dude. Yeah, dude, you're like, gonna look like a Latin king. Yeah, Mexican yeah. Cowboy. And I don't mean the yeah. gang affiliation. Yeah. I mean just like a. So king I feel from like Latin it would America. be really funny, like <laughs> maybe not for the full five minutes, but like for the first minute, if I just came out and I was just like, "Hola." May I'm out that be? Say it into your phone, <laughs> have it translated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To translate it from Spanish to English. Yeah, because you're speaking Spanish in hilarious. your phone and then it just says like but also that I'm seems, fat be. that's the first one. Seems like a lot of work. Yeah, who wants to do that for Have a you show? heard about the border, by the way? The southern one? Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, apparently we're gonna go to war. People are getting fucked up. Texas is gonna succeed. Well, Texas said secede. Maybe succeed? not they might succeed at seceding. S E C E D E. Oh, that reminds me. S- succeed? Succeed. S-E-C-E-D-E. You spell it the same way. No, succeed is, has a suck in it. S-U-C-C-E-E-D. Huh. We'll type out all those letters on the screen. I'm just saying. That's S- a lot. Of, I'm just kidding. That's a, so S- much work for Kenny. S-U-C-C-E-E-D-D. One D. Succeed. I got it right besides the second D. Succeed. I got it right besides the second D. I got it right. Yeah. S-U-C-C-E-E-D. Uh-huh. It's so easy to put another D right there, dude. Yeah, you just don't. You're going to double up on all the other letters. Yeah. What the fuck? All right, this is a throwback to like back in the OG days when yeah, we used when to, we spell used to words. spell words. We, we had a spe- we were going to have a spelling bee. Yeah. That'll what happen someday. If that'd be spelling bee, we'll run out of theater. That'd uh, be spelling bee. It'll be on ESPN. We're taking the place <laughs> yeah. of the national spelling bee. The Ocho. <laughs> yeah. ESPN the Ocho. Uh, yeah, so just... I'm going to uh, teach everyone a word, uh, and then Thad's going to give a shot at spelling it. Uh, the word today... Uh, is pusillanimous, which oh. I've talked about in the house. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I'll say it slower so you can do it, but it's showing lack of courage or determination. Fun fact about this word. This is the origin of the word pussy. So to call someone oh, a pussy... Oh, you have talked about this. ...is pusillanimous. So it's not affiliated with vaginas at all because vaginas are tough. But pussy, yeah, you're uh, okay. pusillanimous. <laughs> Yeah, they used to be words like this for me. P U S S Y Alanimous. Pussy Alanimous. That's so close, dude. <laughs> uh, no, let me try. Let me try for real. Let me. Uh, pusillanimous. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Yeah, Thad, quit being such a pusillanimous <laughs> little bitch. That's exactly how it would be. <laughs> Shit, that was a good sentence. Thanks. Um, could or I s- could do it in a roommate. Uh, I could do it in Marty's voice. Could you say it in an accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it as Marty. 
That's dude. Not this game like is pusillanimous. Could you say it in like a like a German or like a very deep, heavy Egyptian accent? I'll do the first one. Uh, <laughs> so the word, oh, the time was going off. Uh, you need to hurry up and spell this, or you are very pusillanimous if you don't. Are you scared? Okay. Pusillanimous. Mm -hmm. P U S. Mm -hmm. Pus I L. Yes. Pusillan. Pusillan. A N. Uh huh. M O U S. You missed one letter. You did. Hang on. I'm going to stop you. you. This isn't your full guess. Because you did P-U-S-I-L-A-N. Pusillan. Pusillanimous. I-M-O-U-S. There it is. Fuck yeah. Dude. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You're, You're not a pussy at all. Fucking pussyillanimous over right, here. Yeah. Next week, I'll have a new word. Um, <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Cut that. Um, <laughs> gotta cut that out. That's a note to the producer to cut out the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep it I in. did it again. <laughs> um, did that's it. been another episode of Beanie Boys yeah. Being Blunt. Just uh, kidding. It's Beanie Boys Podcast. Holy shit. Beanie yeah, Boys we started blunt. wrong. We'll end wrong, My too. My God. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out. We've got stuff coming up. Beanie Boys show February 29th. Leap Day. Leap Day. Georgia Comstock. Headlining. Georgia. Nick Dean. Luke Stam. Me. Cameron. Joe. Johnny Bratsfiend. Johnny Bratsfiend. Bucket Spots. Bucket Spots. Uh... Come celebrate my birthday because it's the next day after that. And happy belated birthday to Joe. Happy belated. He's Hot diggity dog. He's only See you 67 later. now. Yeah, I know. Believe 67 in human years. He looks great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a wizard. See you next time.